Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because we are going off on a trip to Dartmoor to visit the grave of a very famous, well-known 19th century British adventurer by the name of Sir James Brooke. For those of you who may not have heard of uh, Sir James Brooke, uh, he was effectively the founder of the state of Sarawak, uh, which is now a part of Malaysia, and also of a dynasty known as the White Rajas. The three White Rajas which formed the dynasty are all buried in Sheep Store in Dartmoor, uh, and we are going to be looking at their graves and also the church, which has a number of mementos from Sarawak. We will also tell you more about the history of Sarawak and how Sir James came to be the ruler of Sarawak, which in itself is an amazing story which has been covered by a number of historians and also forms part of the book um, The Man Who Would Be King by Rudyard Kipling. So without further ado, we will now jump in the car and head off to Dartmoor in search of Sir James Brooke's grave. Very pretty. Here we are in Sheep Store, which is the cemetery that has the three white Rajas, the first of which is Sir James Brooke, who was the founder of modern Sarawak, which is now part of Malaysia. He was a 19th century adventurer, and this is where he's buried. Let's now go into the churchyard and see his final resting place. So here we are in the churchyard of uh, Sheep Store, St Leonard's Church, and, and you can see it is a very scenically located church, beautiful, it's filled with moors, um, and the tomb which you can see in the distance over there, uh, the main one which is in the, the red granite, is the tomb of Sir James Brook. Let's go and have a look. So hello to Sir James Brooke. Uh, this is where the great man rests uh, in this uh, churchyard uh, in uh, Sheepstore, along with uh, Sir Charles Brooke uh, and Rainer Brooke, uh, Brooke, the three white Rajas. Uh, this is definitely uh, a historic moment, really, because uh, not many people come to this part of, of Dartmoor. Uh, it's a beautiful spot uh, and an amazing uh, resting place for somebody who achieved so much, uh, who uh, managed to put down a, a revolt when he was in Sarawak and helped the Sultan of Brunei regain control of Sarawak as a, a gift in return. Uh, the Sultan of Brunei gave him uh, the area which we now know uh, as Sarawak, what well, was in fact actually primarily Kuching. Uh, from there, uh, uh, Sir James built on the country and also then passed the country down uh, to um, his nephew, uh, Charles Brooke, who uh, continued to build on the good work uh, that had been done uh, and really uh, laid uh, the, the stepping stone for what we now know uh, as Sarawak in terms of the infrastructure. 
Um, the White Rajas, the three White Rajas ruled uh, effectively from um, the middle of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th century. Uh, in between, unfortunately, the Japanese um, occupied Sarawak, which was a very dark time in their history. But after the Japanese occupation, um, the, the, the Brooke family managed to, to get back um, Sarawak. Uh, but at that point they recognised it required so much investment um, that, that they agreed to cede Sarawak to the British government uh, where it became uh, formally uh, a, a protectorate uh, of the British Empire right through to 1963 uh, when Sarawak uh, actually joined with other states uh, to form the country we now know uh, as Malaysia. Now we're going to go inside the church. Welcome. Uh, it feels strange being a church warden myself of St Mary's Church in Chumley to now be in St Leonard's Church in Sheepstore, where Sir James Brooke, who founded Sarawak, was also a church warden. Uh, somebody who had a very colourful and successful life. Uh, and if you actually look around this beautiful church here, you'll see on the wall a number of mementos highlighting the reign of not just Sir James Brooke, but also Charles uh, uh, Brooke uh, and also um, Viner uh, Brooke, the three white rajas. Uh, it is a beautiful little church. Um, you will also find on the walls uh, gifts that have been presented by the people of Sarawak to this church um, in recognition of the fabulous work um, that the White Rajas did for the local people. Uh, and under their rule, they believed very much in enriching the local population they took very little themselves from the country, um, but did their best to bring democracy, uh, a good infrastructure for the country and improved education and health standards. And so to this day, the people in Sarawak think about the White Rajas, that hundred year period of rule uh, from effectively the middle of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th century with great fondness.